being a skateboarder isn't just about going skateboarding, it's all the other things around it as well. 80%, 90% skateboarding is not skateboarding generally most of the time. When I got asked to be part of the team, I couldn't really say no. It's just like a why not kind of thing. This is the whole weird world that we've stepped into. All this is an opportunity for us to communicate and engage with skateboarders around the world. Oh, great, here we go again. There's another thing that skateboarding's going to sell out to. Back in the day, if someone said that to me, I would have just kind of laughed. Skateboarding's not going to be in the Olympics, what you're on about. Stretch it back a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. The essential part. The stretch. <laughs> in those early days, it was not a healthy lifestyle. You don't go to a skate park and see, oh, yeah, this is the uh, winner of the session. It's not like that. Who's having the most fun is pretty much the winner. The idea of being a pro skater seems wicked, you know? You get to skate all your life and you get paid. But then skaters are completely replaceable in this industry. If you don't want to jump down that thing, some kid will do it for some shoes. With skateboarding being in the Olympics, if they're going to make it so mainstream, you need to start looking after your skateboarders. There is an awareness that young men particularly have a hard time. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. If we can find a balance between being included in this Olympic world, but also retain our culture, our values, our beliefs. The skateboards they've chosen just on the UK team, how different their styles are, are completely right. These are the best skateboarders in the country right now. We are not in California.